Who built this? Why is it here? What was it for? And how does it fit in the story? With the release of Minecraft's Tricky Trials update, we've been introduced to a number of new features. One of these is the Trial Chambers, a mysterious labyrinthian structure that lies deep below ground. Filled with creatures and vaults full of treasure, these chambers are seemingly designed to act as a challenge for the player. On the surface, that's exactly what they're for. Mojang simply took the concept of traditional dungeons and reinvented them as something more complex and interesting. But what about the story aspect of places like this? Is it simply there for you, the player, to defeat and reap rewards from? Or is there more to it? That's what we're here to talk about. The Trial Chambers. Minecraft is a sandbox game that allows you to build masterpieces out of little blocks or survive the hostile environment while having fun with friends. But when you really look around your world, you begin to notice things that quietly tell a story. It's not exactly clear when in time that your story as the player takes place, but you can see history all around you wherever you look. It's made clear when you find naturally generated structures around your world, from desert temples to abandoned mine shafts to sunken ruins. And of course, this also includes the trial chambers. This is an example of in-game storytelling that isn't very explicitly explained, and so players who try to make sense of the story will attempt to connect the dots by making inferences. Some refer to Minecraft's subtle story element as quasi-lore. It's almost lore, it's almost a story, but nobody in the game really talks about it. And because of this, there's a lot of guesswork involved. One of the leading theories that depict Minecraft's possible in-game history is that, sometime in the past, there was an ancient civilization of people much like us, the player. Some folks, such as MadPat, formerly of the Game Theorists, refer to this civilization as the Ancient Builders. By the time you spawn in the world, not a single person like you exists, but the structures they left behind managed to survive through time. The closest thing like you, though, are the Villagers. They're still human, but they don't build or fight in the same capacity that you can. Their villages are small and simple, and they have iron golems to fight for them. But they might as well be the only living descendants of the ancient builders, aside from us. The structures they left behind can provide insight to their history and culture. Ocean monuments seem to be religious structures that probably were always sunken below water. Strongholds seem to act as underground fortresses that provide maximum security and protection and provided they also have an end portal, a means of escape. Trial chambers appear to act as a test of strength, not just for the player, but likely the ancient builders too. By completing a trial chamber, you are actively rewarded with treasure and a sense of accomplishment. I say actively because while you can explore any other structure and take its valuables, such as the Woodland Mansion or End City, these are different in that you are entering someone else's home, abandoned or not, and taking the valuables that they were using for themselves. You're plundering for your own personal gain. The trial chambers are designed for you to come and conquer them. The spawners and vaults they hold were deliberately placed there to pose a challenge to you that you are then rewarded for beating. It's a test of courage and strength. So why would the ancient builders want to build such a structure? Why did they need to test their strength and do it underground in a place like this? I propose two possibilities. The first is that the trial chambers were designed as a rite of passage. Another game comes to mind with a similar concept. In The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we are introduced to a series of floating islands in the sky. Three of these islands were sites where an ancient race called the Zonai would bring up their youth in a coming of age ritual in which they would jump from the top and land at the bottom. This is the dive ceremony and similar to the Trial Chamber's concept as a rite of passage, it acts as a test of courage. The ancient builders are thought to be a powerful race. The remains of their presence is still traceable all over the world. They were strong and prolific in their expansion, but they also had their enemies too. See any hostile mob. 
Perhaps they would bring up their youth and train them for combat by taking them to these trial chambers. They were likely built underground to prevent collateral damage from within their towns above ground, should things get out of control. And in training the youth, the ancient builders would be able to defend themselves and one another from onslaughts of monsters. My other proposal is similar in nature. However, it would mean that the trial chambers were used more out of necessity than tradition in a time of desperation. This proposal is based off another theory. What caused the collapse of the ancient builder society? Some have suggested that in their pursuit of evading death, the ancient builders experimented with magic that would prolong life or resurrect the fallen. And of these experiments, something awful arose. The Wither The Wither is a boss that doesn't naturally generate like the Ender Dragon or other creatures like the Warden. It must be summoned. And in being summoned, the trial chambers may have acted as a form of military barracks for combat training. Let's take a look at another reference to the Wither. Chiseled red sandstone has a carving of the wither on it. Even though it doesn't naturally spawn in any structures, it's still implied that the existence of the wither was already known by the ancient builders. You yourself are able to craft chiseled red sandstone even if you haven't seen the wither yet, but you might as well have gotten the knowledge of how to chisel this pattern on this block if it was passed down, right? Also consider this painting that depicts the wither. If you didn't paint it originally, who did? Could this be a formerly lost painting? Or, if you did paint it, how could you have known about the wither unless it was inspired by something, such as an old legend passed down by word of mouth? Regardless, the ancient builders had to learn how to protect themselves, especially from a worst case scenario, and the wither may have been exactly that. By preparing in these trial chambers, the ancient builders would have had a means to readily defend themselves against the wither. But of course, it wasn't enough. Eventually, many of them died, and others fled through the end portal, constructing the end cities and possibly becoming the endermen we see, roaming the islands in the abyss. Out of these two proposals, I am inclined to suggest that the formal military training scenario is more likely. The wither being summoned is the most plausible explanation as to what happened to the ancient builders, and the ancient builders still scrambled to build an army of some kind, regardless of the logistics of it. There is one detail we left out though, and that would be the one mob that exclusively spawns in the trial chambers, the Breeze. The Breeze is an entity made of wind and bears resemblance to the Blaze. One key feature of theirs is that, much like the Wither, it launches projectiles at you, but not to the same damaging degree as the Wither. It's almost as if this being was designed to be a training dummy preparing warriors for an encounter with the real deal. What better way to prepare than to simulate a real battle with something smaller? And that brings us to the end of the video. If you made it this far, kudos to you. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this theory. I'd love to hear your perspective. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and to hit that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. I'd love to make more lore content, so watch out for that in the future. My name's Peotic, signing off. Bye!